tonight. Two people are facing charges after Huntsville police locked down the area around Willow Park today. Officers were trying to arrest a man who barricaded himself in the park bathroom. In the past hour, HPD identified the two people involved in the incident as Daniel Val Trelvino Fain and Charlotte Ann Van Hooten. They're charged with second degree burglary. News 19's Kayla Smith joins us live from the scene. And Kayla, what have you learned today? You're looking at the park bathroom where the standoff took place behind me. At about noon today, we watched as officers brought Daniel Fain into custody here. He was wrapped in a sheet and at least partially nude. This all began as a suspected burglary in a South Huntsville neighborhood. Police received a call just before 9 o'clock this morning about a suspicious vehicle. When an officer tried to pull over the car, police say the couple inside were slow to respond, finally stopping in the neighborhood behind Willow Park. I went over to the window and looked outside. Yadi Long watched police pour into her neighborhood and take the female driver, Charlotte Van Holden, into custody. The passenger side door was open, so I was assuming there was an accomplice that had run into my neighbor's yard. Fain, who was riding in the passenger seat, ran from police, eventually barricading himself inside the bathroom at Willow Park. Police took precautions, believing he might have armed himself during the burglary. The homeowner came back and believes there may be some guns missing or a gun. Keep our officers safe and citizens safe. We're going to assume that element exists. We later saw police remove a gun from the scene. I kind of felt a, a little bit more safe because there were so many cops around that if something had happened, um, I knew that the cops would be around. Long says she saw officers using drones and a canine unit. Huntsville police tell us they brought in crisis negotiators and kept a SWAT team on standby. Daniel Fain was arrested just before noon today. According to police, he's been hospitalized for a medical condition unrelated to his arrest. Live in Huntsville, Kayla Smith, News 19.